Welcome back to Weiss High School, everybody. We are getting set for some more UIL playoff basketball this afternoon on Vibe Live. Good afternoon, folks. My name is Jack Farrell, and we are here this afternoon for the quarterfinal round of these uh, of these UIL playoffs. We've got a battle of district champions here this afternoon in the Hendrickson Hawks and the Anderson Trojans. Hendrickson was just a game off from pulling off the same... Uh, undefeated district run that the Trojans did in the regular season and the Hawks enter tonight's game at 24 and 4 and 13 and 1 in district play their only district loss was actually a one-point loss to Weiss back earlier this month the Trojans are 20 and 5 and 14 and 0 in district play the winners of 16 straight games once again back at Weiss High School just want to give you all a heads up it's uh it's just tough to connect in this gym we're just not uh, having a having a bit of a hard time just getting onto the Wi-Fi, getting the game broadcasting. So hopefully we can uh, stick around. It's holding a little bit better than it was before, and uh, hopefully it'll work itself out towards the second half, like we uh, we were able to do last game. Finally getting a hold of things. But for now, we've got a game ahead of us. So the bracket. If you're looking at the UIL standings here and the UIL brackets going forward into playoffs. So the bracket is once again ever dwindling. Only 16 teams remain in this section of the bracket, moving ever closer towards that state round down in San Antonio. Both of these schools are the uh, are the final remaining team from e their respective districts. And somebody's journey will have to end here on this pretty dreary, pretty drizzly, rainy Saturday afternoon. Last season, this is the round where Anderson's season met its end down in Seguin. But this team here doesn't want to be done yet. They'll have to get through this Hendrickson squad that uh, they've seen once before this season, actually. Definitely one of the toughest teams that the Trojans have got a look at all season. In fact, they took a loss on the road up here in Pflugerville back on December 4th in a very tight one, 52-48. to So uh, it'll be a something of a revenge game here this afternoon for the Anderson Trojans. And uh, they're coming in tonight as an underdog. It'll be the first time that they will be a, an underdog in this playoff run. They haven't been an underdog in many of their games in the regular season either. So Anderson coming in, facing some adversity here this afternoon. We'll see what they uh, they have in store for us. So, so far, the Anderson Trojans have looked themselves in the postseason. No one, the moment hasn't been too big for anybody on this team so far. They have won both of their games uh, by double figures. Pflugerville game was all Anderson past the second quarter in the more recent Lake Creek game that we played on Wednesday. That was just a defensive masterclass from this team. They only gave up two points in the entire second quarter, and then they led by 13 at the half. Anderson was comfortable with the lead. Pretty much all the way throughout that game and got the win by 14 points. Hendrickson, on the other hand, also have won their playoff games both by double figures. Pretty easily dispatching Crockett in the by-district round. And then they were able to take down Magnolia 58-48 to earlier this week. Looking very much forward to the game here. Should be one of the most exciting games that we have been able to broadcast for you all season. One of the first very exciting games since uh, since the beginning of the season here. Looking out on the court after Jaden Austin took that nasty fall towards the end of that Lake Creek game. Looks like he will be good to go here down on the court getting some shots up. All dressed out. He should be good to go for this game this afternoon. Anderson should be at full strength. So yeah, as, as we mentioned, excuse me, just trying to get set here. Should be a thrilling game. And I am just absolutely, just could not be looking forward to this more. We are just about two and a half minutes away from the opening tip-off. It will be Trojans versus Hawks in the quarterfinals. The winner of this game will play the winner of Manville and Beaumont. That game will be, uh, that'll be played later on tonight. I think tip-off there is at 7.30, so the, by the time that uh, we wrap up here,
So yeah, but yeah, as I was saying, the time by the time that we wrap up here, that game will not be over. I don't think that game will have started yet. So we'll have to see who the winner is after tonight. We'll see that tomorrow, of course. The winner of this game will move on to the next round, that being the regional semis. Anderson unable to get there last year. I believe that was the last round that was played before the season shut down, so it'll be interesting moving forward here. We will have this game coming up for you in just a minute. It'll be Trojans versus Hawks in the quarterfinals. That'll be up right after this. You're listening to Anderson Trojan Basketball on Vipe Live. We'll be right back for the national anthem as well as the announcements of our starting lineups. We'll be right back, everybody. Formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPE.com. Vipe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 for team. Again, another reverse. Breaking tackles. Dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Billy really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God. It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to Vipe, VIPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts. But did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Back into the Weiss Gym now. We're going to have our National Anthem coming up in just a minute. Going to go ahead and throw it down to the public address man. And then we will be back with you.
Back here once again at Weiss High School. Still want to apologize for the lack of connection so far. Doing its best. Um, not really much I can do from here. So hopefully it'll pop up soon and hopefully everything's all right. But for now, we've got a game on our hands. So just going to keep our eyes on the court. Hope things are uh, going to start running smooth. But for now, It'll be at Mashai Hill on the opening tip-off for Anderson. Nick Harris, once again, the opening tip-off for Anderson. They've got some size. Anderson will have to combat that in this one as the opening tip is won by Hendrickson, but it goes out of bounds. That should be white ball. So Anderson loses the tip, but they get the ball. Not a bad start for them here. Inbound gets back into the backcourt for Mike Wagner, and that's where we're going to get going. Wagner coming off a five-point area round as they leave Benito Black wide open. Forgot about that man. You can't do that. Anderson opens things up 2-0. Now here's Hendrickson. Keyshawn Williams with it out on the perimeter for the first time. Hands it up to Jaden Williams, number one. And that's where Henderson's going to run their offense. They're looking for Williams coming off a screen. Austin stays in front of him. He's going to attack the basket. Goes through Austin and scores. A lot of contact. But Keyshawn will get the lay-in. It's 2-2. Wagner taking the dribble up. Austin. Wagner fading into the corner. They get Benito Black cutting to the basket again. That looked like it might have been a goaltend. Wagner's there on the follow. Benito Black gets the follow. Wagner gets another. And he lays it in. Mike Wagner's first basket of the game. Comes off a couple offensive rebounds. Trojans have scored on their first two possessions. It's 4-2. to You can already feel the energy percolating in the room tonight. And that's going to be a blocking foul underneath against Austin. He's gone to the floor twice. Williams on the inbound. Gets it outside to Michael Montgomery. Here's Williams. Working around the perimeter on Austin. He's already picked up one foul. And this is going to lead to an open three-point look way off from Caden Crosby. Henderson has it. They turn it over. That's an unforced error by the Hawks. Can't, can't have many of those against the Anderson Trojans. The so Trojans will have the lead and the ball. It's 4-2. Got plenty of folks in the gym for this one. No uh, AISD rules out in PFISD or Brian ISD, I guess. Wagner. Francis in the corner. Nick Harris coming off the screen. Get it back to Wagner. Mike's going to take a few dribbles inside. They're not going to see anything there. They get it back to Austin. Harris on the back cut. It wasn't there. Austin's going to take a dribble inside. He's hit from the back. He'll head to the line. Nice job, Jaden Austin, drawing some contact, and he'll step to the free throw line here. That foul's going to go against Keyshawn Williams. Here's Austin as he goes one for two, or one for one, I guess, so far. He, so, yeah, he does go one for two. Rebound long and tracked down by Hendrickson.
So five to two. Leads to a three-point opportunity that's no good. Austin's there on the rebound. Jaden Williams couldn't come up with the triple. Austin's going to take it coast to coast, go all the way with it. Can't finish. Tried to go up with it. He ends up on the ground again. Hendrickson clears the rebound, and they're going to push pace the other way. Driving all the way to the bucket, picking up the foul is Jaden Williams. So one for two from the line for Jaden Williams. Now both teams with the odd number scoring. It's 5-3. Cross the court. Francis into Wagner. Wagner working his way up. He loses it. That's going to go out of bounds. And that's going to be Anderson Ball. We're going to try to get things going up better at the uh, start of the second quarter here we'll go ahead and reset all of our broadcast stuff but for now Anderson with the ball Wagner outside to Harris Harris pump fake puts the ball in the court goes up and he's blocked that's some good defense staying with the ball as here's Williams on the other end he ties it Caden Crosby was the one to make the defensive play on the other end we have it all tied up at five three minutes have gone by here in the ball game as here's Wagner in the corner for the Trojans. He's doing some work inside now on Hill. Gets it to Francis, whose runner goes. So Anderson leads by two. They're back in defense now. They get it inside. That's where it's going to be some trouble, as that's an and one bucket going inside for Mashai Hill. It's just got too much size for Benito Black. And Anderson hasn't really gotten too many looks at an aggressive big. The biggest teams they've seen had uh, really relied on their guards to do most of the work. But Mashai Hill taking his way right to Benito Black, getting the basket. And he connects on the free throw, gives Hendrickson their first lead of the game. It's 8-7. Hand off to Francis. Wagner fades to the corner. Jack working his way to the right side. He gets it to Nick Harris, who's going to take it all the way into the paint. Lays it up. No good, but a foul. It's already the fourth team foul going against Hendrickson in as many minutes. Oh, excuse me. That'll just be the third, but that's going to go on Hill. Might as well try and get some fouls going on that guy as Nick's first free throw is a little wide to the right. So we'll have an opportunity to still tie here with this one. It's 4.15 left here in the first. And got it. One for two. It's been about par for the course for Anderson this season. As Francis got a hand on it, tried to take it away from Michael Montgomery on the dribble handoff. And they get it back up top to Keyshawn Williams. Austin out isolated on him. Williams calling out his plays. Swings it to the corner. Got Francis baseline. Now Montgomery kicks it to the corner. Williams is open for a three-point try. That's no good. Nick Harris goes up strong to get the board. Halfway through the first, Francis with the ball. Now Jack going to drive to the right. He kicks it to Austin, who's going to have a corner triple. No good. Jack is inside on the rebound. Couldn't save it, and he throws it back into the hands of Keyshawn Williams. He's going to push the pace. He's going to run front court. Euro step layup is no good. Follow comes from Mashai, and he's going to go up and just get fouled. So Hill back to the line. And he's, uh, he's big. Right now, Hill just a little too big for Anderson. He's got three points. Make it four. And that's two fouls now on Benito Black. No, excuse me, that's two fouls. Are they going to get Nick Harris for the whistle there? It looks like they gave it to Harris. I thought it was on Benito Black. But either way, both of those two guys are going to head to the bench.
as Hill goes one for two. So it's just 9-8. Anderson still in great position here. 3.23 remaining here in the first. Got a high scoring one so far. As here's Keel over to Wagner. Back to Keel. Keel takes a dribble inside. He's going to take it all the way to the basket. Floats it up through contact. And he gets it to go. Gross Keel. They don't give him the whistle there, but he gets the bucket nonetheless. Anderson leads 10-9. Here's Hendrickson. Williams going to pull back from downtown. That's no good. Keel is there on the board. So Anderson has a one-point lead. Wagner's trapped. They get it to Francis. Good pass. Jack steps into a three, pulls back from it. Over to Keel in the corner on the assist from Austin. The shot's no good, though. Now driving coast to coast. Jaden Williams going to head to the line. Keel tried to meet him there for the block. Probably should have gotten in front of it, tried to take the charge, but... That'll be more free throws for Hendrickson. That's the fifth team foul already on Anderson. That's going to go against Keel, just his first. As that one falls for Jaden Williams. He's got four points here in the first quarter. It's 10 all. So he hits them both. Jaden Williams, five points now for the Hawks. Francis bringing it up for the Trojans. Jack's got it on the left wing. Now Austin into Keel in the corner. Keel crosses over, gets baseline. He's there for the floater. It's no good, left it a bit short. And that's going to go out of bounds, but I don't... They looked like someone on Hendrickson stepped out of bounds, but Keel must have gotten a hand on it to force it that way so it'll be Hendrickson ball 217 left here in the first quarter Jaden Williams back outside they get it inside the hill he's triple teamed underneath and gets the layup a lot of Anderson bodies fall into the floor here Mashai Hill six points just keep driving at him make him pick up his second foul here in the first quarter but Anderson settling for those floaters early as Francis goes behind the back, he's going to take it all the way inside. He goes up with it. That's blocked out of bounds, but a good idea. Anderson not getting uh, any whistles early, much like the last game that they were in. As here's Wagner. He gets it inside to Langley. Langley not going to think about it. Instead, out to Austin for the three. It's no good. Jaden having a hard time here early. Back outside, Williams 4-3, that's an air ball. And Austin got thrown to the ground once again. Jaden Austin already been on the ground about four or five times as Wagner gets it across and they want to push off, which I don't think you can call at this point in the game. As the screen comes for Langley, Wagner gonna drive the paint, get it to Francis. Francis lays it up and in. Anderson having to work hard for that bucket. Jack Francis, four points. Now here's Williams. Give me just one minute here. As here's Hill, and they got to travel, but he got away with it. Gets the layup to go. So Hill already with eight points. Hendrickson getting the definite benefit of the whistle here in this first quarter. That's subject to change, as that's a bad pass trying to get an entry to Francis. Now fast break opportunity for Hendrickson. They get it to Williams. Well cut off by Keel, but he gets the basket to go anyhow. So Anderson will trail after the first quarter after getting a lot of tough whistles against them. It's 17 to 10, or excuse me, 17 to 12. As here's Keel, 20 seconds remaining here in the quarter. You're just gonna let him run it down. Five seconds left. Keel takes a dribble inside. Kicks to the corner. He was looking for Francis. That's going to go out of bounds. So a tough end to the quarter for Anderson. Just not a great quarter from them. Donato Clemens, first guy off the bench here. Is Anderson going to get up, cause some pressure, not let them get an easy look off? Here's Williams. Williams, he lost it. He's going to get an open look at it. No good. Anderson 
had an argument there that Williams might have double dribbled it. He's going to have to make some adjustments here at the start of the second quarter. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we will have the second quarter for you. We'll see. We'll see. Still getting connected here. Going to go ahead and launch the stream once again. Well, okie doke. Now we are back here to start the second quarter. Sorry, I had to drop the stream for a minute. Maybe you didn't have it. But now we are in the second quarter. Let's see if the, uh, the spot's going to hold a little bit better. But for now, Hendrickson with a 17-12 to lead after one. Tough for, uh, first quarter for Anderson. Struggled getting some uh, some whistles there. Five team fouls to just two after one. And here's Hendrickson. Hill with it up top. Now outside, Williams. Benito Black trying to go under the screen. They pull back, Jaden Williams. Now Keyshawn Williams over with it on the top of the key. They get it to Michael Montgomery. Austin in defense. They get it outside, Williams. Harris bit on the on the pass there. He tried to get it and said Williams is going to take it right to the rack on Anderson. That inside pressure hadn't been there. Trail by seven. Wagner over to Keel. Now back to Wagner inside to Benito Black. He's going to put his back into him. He's going to go up with it. That's a tough shot and no good. And an open basket on the other end for Montgomery will force a timeout. Hendrickson leads by nine. Hasn't been much of a fun game for anybody. Certainly not for me. I haven't been able to connect. It looks like it's chopping in and out once again, so very sorry about that. We'll keep it here. Haven't uh, gotten to update much. Anderson now trails by 21. Just getting outmatched in pretty much every area on the court right now. Would, would help they're not getting some of the same whistles that Hendrickson is despite the size that they have. Looks like uh, it's still not going to be connecting very well. So we shall see. Just going to have to push our way on through it. Harris gets it into Wagner. Francis. Screen comes from Harris. He faces to the corner. They're going to leave him open. He's going to pump fake it. He's going to drive to the basket here now. Skip to the corner. Bennett Blackerby. He's going to drive in. Skip to the corner. Here's Francis. Jack couldn't come up with the pass. Instead, he's going to drive to the ball, and that's going to be a blocking foul going against Hill. And that's a big foul. That's two on him. But Hendrickson does have a solidly deep bench. That's just the third team foul going against Hendrickson in the game. So Mashai Hill heads to the bench with eight points. Wagner gets it into Harris. Harris going to go up with it. A lot of contact, but Nick gets it to go. Not anyhow. That's a much-needed basket for the Anderson Trojans. And that's going to go out of bounds off of the Trojans. So they trail by seven still. 6.37 remaining here in the half. Get the ball inbounds. They got it to Gus Rodriguez, who's checked in the game for Hill with the foul trouble. Now Jaden Williams working around with it on the perimeter, looking for Keyshawn. It's not there. You get it back to him. Wagner in defense. Now into the corner, Montgomery is going to attack the baseline, try to go up on Benito Black, and Benito blocked it. He better get rid of the ball here. <laughs> back to Francis. Two minutes gone. Francis got Williams on the crossover. He's going to head into the paint, back outside to Wagner. 
Wagner gets it into Nick Harris, who's going to go up with it through contact. He'll head to the line. So two fouls now on Hill. I think that's going to be two inside on Crosby. Harris gets it to go. Four points so far for Nick Harris. As they are cutting down into that lead just bit by bit. As Nick goes two for two, they needed those. Need anything they can get going forward so far. That's just going to be the first foul going in on Caden Crosby, actually. Here's Williams. Works around the screen. He's going to pull up in the mid-range. That's no good. Rebound falls into Benito Black. Hands it off to Wagner, and Anderson has a chance to cut it to just a single possession game. Jack crosses over, goes behind his back, takes the screen from Benito. He's going to take it in. Lost it. Back out to Wagner. Now they get it to Jack. Jack's going to pull for three. That's no good. Rebound batted up and around into the hands of Hendrickson. Oh, here comes Montgomery. He's going to go coast to coast. A lot of speed there from Michael Montgomery. Takes it all the way in. 16 to 23. Bennett Blackerby. He's going to take a few dribbles inside. He spins, and that's going to be a travel. That's the right call. Anderson doesn't need turnovers like that. The issue here is Anderson not defending particularly well. Hendrickson is just missing shots, and they still trail by seven. Anderson's coming out looking a little flat. Get it outside. Here's Williams. Keyshawn Williams defended by Nick Harris. Screen comes. They skip it back across. Williams attacks the paint on Blackerby, lays it up. It's no good. Rebound by Gonzalez. He goes up with it, and he'll head to the free throw line. <laughs> the first free throw is no good here. We'll have some subs. It'll be Francis, Austin, Keel, Langley, and Wagner. And Gus Rodriguez goes one for two. Leads back up to eight. After that small Anderson run was hushed a little bit, they scored four straight. They get Francis fading to the corner. Now back around Austin over to Keel. Gross is going to attack the paint. He tried to dump it off to Austin. That's going to be out of bounds off of him. So again, folks, just want to apologize for our connectivity issues. It's just uh, in Weiss. It just, uh, it's not friendly to us. We're, we're working on two different hotspots, both Verizon and AT&T. Neither of them uh, appear to be connecting so far. So we're, uh, we're doing our best halfway here through the second quarter. As Williams loses it, Wagner tried to get it. He lobs it up to Rodriguez. Rodriguez goes down. And that's out of bounds off of Langley. Body language right now, not great for Anderson. Just don't look like they're in it right now. They get it in. Williams going to pull immediately from downtown. That's no good. As soon as Hendrickson starts knocking down some threes, it's going to be tough for Anderson to deal with. Here's Francis. He loses it, and that's just poked right away by Montgomery. Francis got on it, and Williams is there to take it away. Williams spins, works on Keel. He's going to take it in. Keel cuts it off. That's some good defense from Gross. He's going to try and fire it into Montgomery. That's out of bounds, and Anderson ball. So there's some good defense from Anderson. Three forty. Anderson still trails by eight. Get it across to Jack Francis. Francis, as dribble moves aren't working for him today, as they have it to Keel. Keel kicks it outside. Austin going to try again. They need a three pointer. That's an air ball.
Jaden Williams, nine points in the game so far. Gets it to Keyshawn Williams, he's gonna try another three. That's also an air ball. So back-to-back -back air balls as Keel's gonna have it working his way into the front court. He's gonna try and go up and finish through contact. That's way off. Gonzalez gets the rebound. Anderson needs to be taking smarter shots. Montgomery's with it outside. He has four. They get it back to Keyshawn Williams. Working on Austin. Swings it across to Jaden. Now Keyshawn is attacking the paint. Goes up with it. Gets it to go. Strong finish inside. Biggest lead of the game for Hendrickson. Wagner. Keel. Crossover. Step in. Long two. No good. Once again, not a good shot. Montgomery into the corner. Wide open triple for Williams. That's also no good. Rebound goes inside to Wagner. It'll go out of bounds off of Anderson. Anderson lucky right now. They only trail by 10. Looking to get it in, they do. Dangerous pass to Williams. Francis in tight defense, they get it inside. And that's a dunk underneath by Caden Crosby. Anderson needs a timeout. They look awful right now. They trail by 12. We're gonna take our first break of the broadcast. Anderson trails by 12 on Vibe Live. We'll be right back. Coverage second to none. Discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you. Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe. V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Back out of the timeout, Anderson trails by 12. Hendrickson just doing everything better than, than them right now, and Anderson not even doing the things they do well well right now. It's just they've been thoroughly outclassed in this game. Austin hasn't been able to buy a basket this afternoon. He's going to attack the paint, dump it off to Benito Black. He loses it. That's going to be another Anderson turnover. It's been that, and then on the other, they've been turning it over they've been taking terrible shots and then on defense they're they're gambling when they shouldn't they're not rotating well and now they're down 12 if Hendrickson could just hit a single three this game would probably be at least 20 points by now Jaden Williams, Anderson just going to have to start cutting into the lead a little bit before halftime. Can't let it balloon any more than it already has. So here's Montgomery. He's working on Black. Get it inside to Gonzalez. Or excuse me, that's Rodriguez. Gus Rodriguez. They get it to Keyshawn Williams. Now back outside and into the corner for Keyshawn. Keyshawn going to take it into the dribble. Hop step layup is no good, but he'll be fouled. First free throw is good for Keyshawn Williams. So let's see what Anderson can do after the made free throws. Screen comes, Austin's gonna attack the paint. He's gonna try to go all the way in with it. That's good, and one. So Jaden Austin will head to the line here. 
Basket's good plus the foul, so back down to 12. They have a good opportunity to cut it to 11 here. Struggled a little bit all season with free throws. Jaden hits this one, though. He's got four points. It's 19 to 30, so back down to an 11-point game. Need a stop here. Minute left. Henderson just going to hold it, it looks like. Anderson just going to let him. So with a whole minute to go, Henderson's just going to wait. Man with the ball, Jaden Williams, team high of nine points. Mashai Hill. Had a really solid first quarter before picking up his second foul that forced him to the bench. We've wasted an entire 30 seconds here. And I don't think I like this from a coaching perspective. <laughs> not a whole minute. Maybe the last 30, 45 seconds, but not a whole minute. Anderson needs to get a stop here. There's eight seconds. And Williams probably just going to have to pull up. Nothing's coming for him. He's going to just have to take it on Wagner. Pushed Wagner down. Can't get it to go. Jack's got the rebound, and that's how the half will end. And it looks like it's getting chippy underneath. Might want to have to separate these guys. Francis was getting into it a little bit with Montgomery. And so with the first half drawn to a close, Anderson finds themselves in a deep hole. They trail 30 to 19. We're going to go ahead and sign off here on the broadcast. Going to try and get things up and running a little bit better. We'll see what we can do. We'll be right back.
formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPE.com. Vipe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313. Again, another verse. Breaking tackles. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God. It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Bravo to Vipe. VYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Yeah. For the end zone, touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left, it is going and it is gone. From the cross to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPEVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313. Again, another verse. Breaking tackles. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God. It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Bravo to VIPEVYPE.com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPEVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313. Again, another verse. Breaking tackles. Dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh, my God. It went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Bravo to VIPEVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. 
Go to VibeVYPE.com and hit Five Year School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Yeah, but end zone touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle of the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk off home runs. Wide drive, deep to left. It is going, and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. Vibe. Coming back out of the half, once again, want to apologize for the technical difficulties. Not sure if anyone's actually able to get on the broadcast this afternoon, but if you are, it's been a rough outing for Anderson. Anderson just really taking it to him right now. Anderson fortunate enough to only be down 11 at the half. It'll be a big uh, stretch of minutes coming up here. See how Anderson can respond coming out of the half. That'll be do or die time for them. It's very important to come out swinging here. Try and score some easy baskets. Try to play some good defense. That's something they've struggled with all game. But for now, just about 30 seconds before we're going to get back started here for the fourth quarter. Jack Farrell joining you once again, like we have been all season. But here we go. It should be Trojan ball getting started here. Mashai Hill back into the game after missing most of the second quarter there with foul trouble. He has been he's been uh, trouble for Anderson. He's scored eight points all in the paint and at the free throw line. Anderson will have three timeouts for the rest of the game as we enter the second half. Nick Harris gets it back to Mike Wagner over to Nick Harris. He's going to step into an open three. That's off. And first possession is empty for Anderson. So Williams bringing it up. He hands it off to Williams. Bringing it up Montgomery. Now they try to get it inside the hill. He threw it away out of bounds. Francis with it on the right corner. Jack only with four points. At halftime, Benito Black goes inside. He throws it up. Can't get it to go. Mashai Hill was trying to avoid contact. Benito could have taken a little more time on that shot. Keyshawn Williams with the ball up top. They're trying to get it into Hill. Hill up with it. Easy basket. Anderson just has no answer for that. He just got to hack him. Hope he makes free throws. Nick Harris. Goes in for a floater, that's short. And uh, Hendrickson the other way. Hendrickson looking here to open things all the way open as Jaden Austin is gonna get in for a steal. No one's back running with him. He's just gonna have to take it one-on-one. -on -one. Goes up and under with it, can't get it to go. Just a bad start for Anderson. And a bad first half from Anderson. So, not a great, uh, not a great game so far for them. So here's Williams, they get it inside, here's Crosby. Once again, they try to get it into Hill. Austin's there in the steal. He just passes ahead to Nick Harris. I'm not, not sure why. That's another turnover. They are just playing very stupid right now. Williams working his way inside. He's going to try a tough runner, get it to go. So Hendrickson pushing their lead even further. It's 15. Francis kicks it to Harris. Harris going to try a quick three. That's blocked inside to Austin. He's fouled. That'll be on the floor, though. It's just the second foul going against Caden Crosby. They get it in. Nick Harris, he's just going to have to score immediately. Nick gets it to go. He's got seven. He's been good tonight. Well, he at least has a team high of seven.
Williams works his way left, crosses over, steps back, pulls back. He fell to the ground pretending he got fouled, and he'll get free throws out of it. So Jaden Williams been carving up Anderson all day. He already has 11, make it 12. Francis working it up into the corner. Austin going to try again for three. That's no good. Rebound goes inside to Williams. Williams over to Williams, who's going to get an easy layup. Missed it, but a foul? I'm, I don't know where that was, but it'll be more free throws for Hendrickson. I just I have no earthly idea who that could be on right now. And they're going to get Austin. So more free throws coming up for Keyshawn Williams. Down 17. Anderson going to try and have to figure something out. They have nothing has worked for them all game. Wagner over to Black. Black, Austin. Probably don't need another three-pointer here. As Austin throws it off of uh, Hendrickson player's knees, that'll go out of bounds. Wagner gets it into Francis. Francis comes off the screen, going to take the three, and he gets it to go. Anderson needed that. That'll force a timeout on the court. Leads down to 14. That'll be another timeout and called by Anderson. We're going to go ahead and take a break. Hey, buddy. You say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Out of the Trojan timeout, Hendrickson will have the ball. Williams, 13 points for him in this one. Other Williams is going to take a three. He's been off from downtown all night, but it hasn't mattered. They still lead 14. Keel able to track down the board. He's going to take it inside, avoids the contact, lays it up, gets it to go. Gross Keel showing signs of life. It leads back down to 12. 38 to 26. Here's Williams. Dribble handoff goes to Williams. Now inside. They try to get it to Hill, but Keel is there on the takeaway. Keel gets it up to Wagner. Wagner up and under move is good to go. Mikey picking up his first bucket of the, of the half here. Anderson gets it down to 10. That'll be a Hendrickson timeout on the floor. Things are starting to get a little raucous here at Weiss High School. Anderson has cut it down to 10. Going to go ahead and keep it here through the timeout. Francis and Harris, both with uh, seven points right now for the Trojans. Keel, Wagner, and Jaden Austin all have four. Benito Black's behind them with just the deuce. Scored that early in the game. For Hendrickson, Jaden Williams and Mashiah Hill doing their heavy damage. 13 and 10 for them. Keyshawn Williams right behind him with five, with uh, with seven. Excuse me. As Hendrickson's out of the timeout, bringing the ball up. It'll be Keyshawn Williams. 
Austin in defense. Screen comes from Hill. He's going to roll to the basket here. Well tagged by Francis. He's going to have to pull it back out. William's going to drive in. He's going to rise up for it and get it to go. They need to stop letting him do that because he's gotten to that spot every single time that he's wanted to. It's really easy for him. Wagner splits the double team. He's going to take it into the paint, get it to Benito Black. He turns, spins. He's going to have to get rid of it. Gets it out to Austin. Austin takes one dribble inside the arc. Can't get it to go. It's been a tough night from him from the floor. Now here's uh, Williams taking it the other way. Steps into a triple. Can't connect. Rebound goes inside to Austin. He's not down. That's got to be a foul. And that's going to be a timeout to Hendrickson. Is that, that, that is just a bad no call. Jaden Williams got, or Jaden Austin got hammered. Anderson hasn't been getting any whistles here in the postseason. They call the timeout as the guy's rolling out of bounds without possession of the rock. So, Hendrickson ball, I guess. Um, despite uh, the rule book. But Anderson will have to get another stop coming out of this timeout here. At least it gets Hendrickson to waste one. But... Just a tough scene right now for the Trojans. The moment they try to claw back in, there's something that goes wrong for them. Montgomery with it on the corner. Gets it back to Williams. He's going to try, and that's an illegal screen going against Machai Hill. And that's his third. So that, that is significant. That's his third foul. But he'll stay in. Go ahead and go right at him right now, I would say. You're down 12. Got to get some contact in at the rim. Francis back to Austin. Get it to Jack cutting to the basket. They try to get another foul on Hill. Francis hits the turf hard. And no foul. Montgomery's layup is no good. Surprise there's no whistle there. As Austin's going to take it coast to coast back to Jack Francis. Looked at the three. Steps back. He's going to take it now out of rhythm. That's a tough shot. Jack dives for it. Williams is the one to recover. They get it inside to Keyshawn. He lost. It's going to head to the corner. Wagner picks him up, and that's out of bounds. Some good defense there by Mike Wagner. So we'll get, we'll get subs. Hill's going to have to check out with his third foul. Benito Black's heading out. Langley's back in. Wagner bringing it up, gets it to Francis. Jack back to Mike. Mike's going to take a few dribbles inside. He's going to settle for the floater. It's no good. Rebound comes outside to Hendrickson. It was very close to a 10-second violation as Williams took his time getting up as they get it over to Montgomery now. 2.18 remaining here in the third. As Francis almost got the steal there. Said it's going to be a skip pass to Williams, and that's a travel on him. Anderson being gifted some opportunities here. So far this game, they just haven't been able to do anything with them. They've still got about a quarter and a quarter to try and get their way back into this. Wagner, screen comes from Keel, works his way around it. They get it inside to Langley. That's a tough pass. Nate can't come up with it. That's a travel. Yes, sir. Caden Crosby got it, turned over, and that is a travel. So Anderson will have the ball. They just have to stop turning it over because that, that was another turnover. They just got it right back. They got lucky there. Anderson just hasn't been playing well here. Trying to get the ball in now. Wiping off the court. Taking our time with it here. Wagner trying to find a spot for it. Got Francis cutting. They get it to Langley, who's going to find Jack Francis open behind the arc. It's no good. Might have gotten a hand on it. Langley can't get it to go, but he'll head to the line.
Can't get it to go. Langley gets the second. That's his first point of the game for junior Nate Langley. Will be a key part of this Anderson team next year. 142 might be time to hold for the final shot. As here's Williams. He killed his dribble. Now they have to get it back out to Jaden. Williams attacking the paint. Gets it inside to Keyshawn. Now back outside into the corner. Montgomery's going to attack the paint. He kicks to the corner. Williams going to try again for three. And he finally gets one to go. It was like over five before that one. But comes up in a big spot with it. Austin going to attack the paint. Skip to the corner. Langley. Langley going to drive in. He's going to swing outside. He tried to look for Francis who was wide open in the corner. But pass went into Austin. And that's another bad, bad turnover. And once again, going to hold for the entire final minute. He'll just get up on him. Annoy him a little bit. Force him to do something. Keel. Williams attacks the paint and, and Langley had his hand straight up. Williams drove right into him. Langley stepped forward and picks up the blocking foul. So wrapping up the third quarter here, another bad quarter from Anderson. And they're 0 for 3 so far. As Jaden Williams hits this one. Trojan lead, or deficit is 16. Francis with it. Jack working around the outside. Keel, they almost lost it. Step back court, but got the ball anyway. Keel just, I don't know what that was, but he just dropped it. Montgomery, coast to coast, layup is good. So, that'll, uh, that'll be a tough thing to come back from, as Anderson has just looked outright like a bad basketball team for the first three quarters of this game. This is not the same team that has entered the quarterfinal round. They have just looked out of sorts, taking bad shots, making bad plays defensively, making lazy passes as they trail by 18. Let's see if Francis can do anything. He gets it to Langley, who gets it to go at the layup. But they're still down 16 entering the fourth quarter. Well, at least uh, this is the game that we have had absolutely a heck of a time connecting because... I would not be wanting to watch this if I didn't have to. This is a very, just a sloppy and just a poor game from Anderson. As they are just eight minutes away from having their season come up short. We'll keep it here over the break. It's 47 to 31 entering the final frame of the season for the Anderson Trojans. Nick Harris, seven points. Jack Francis also with seven leading the way for them. Uh, Hendrickson running all over him. Mashai Hill, Keyshawn Williams both with 10. Jaden Williams with 17. So they need they need something to figure. They need to figure something out here in the fourth quarter. But even then, it's going to be mighty tough for them to come back from trailing 16 in one quarter. So back out of the timeout for the quarter. Hendrickson will have the ball to start things. And Anderson really can't let them score at all. But Hendrickson, it doesn't look like they're going to try to. Because they're just working it around the perimeter here. Well, this is the fourth quarter. As here's Williams. He's going to attack the paint, get inside, dumps it off. And that's an easy layup and one for Gus Rodriguez. That'll do it. That's pretty much the dagger here. As Anderson is just, uh, just once again, just an atrocious outing for them in this game. So 
The free throw is no good. Francis with it, works his way, crosses over. He's going to step into a three, decided against it. Now over to Austin in the corner. He can't get it to go. Rebound is out of bounds, and that should be Anderson Ball. I'm not sure what Montgomery's arguing about. Clearly off of him there. Wagner looking for somebody. And he's going to have to just force it back outside to Keel. Keel takes a couple dribbles inside, kicks to the corner through Langley's hands. Francis gets it, passes off to Langley. Langley lost it going up, and that's out of bounds off of Keel. Seven minutes left in the season. Skip across Montgomery. Now they get it inside. Francis is there to steal it. Jack's going to push the pace up, try and claw their way back here as he gets all the way to the basket, lays it in for two. Montgomery gets it to Williams. Williams takes it into the paint, going to pull up that easy mid-range. It's been there all game. He finally misses one. Rebounds inside and out of bounds. Crosby's back in the game here. Francis taking it all the way into the paint, lays it up, try to draw contact, but that's blocked away by Hill. Now they're just uh, doing this again. Here's Williams. That's uh, another turnover here. Henderson starting to get sloppy with the ball, but Anderson really not making him pay on the other end. And also, they're running out of time. But there's still life for Anderson. Just have to hit a few shots in a row, still get a couple stops. This Keel's going to take one quickly. Steps into it, no. Rebound into Langley. He lost it. That'll go out to Nate. will get the recovery. Keel will go behind the back with it. Go up. Can't get it to go, but he'll step to the line for free throws. It's going to go underneath. That'll be on Hill. That's his fourth. So Keel will step to the line. Gets the first. Leads down to 15. This keel goes one for two. Langley can't get the board. Hill. He almost lost it. Here's Williams. Montgomery back to Williams. Now here's Montgomery. Austin D's him up. Falls over to Montgomery, now into Williams. Williams going to drive the paint here, dump it off inside the hill, easy layup. We'll take a break with them. Trojan basketball on Vibe Live. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com. Out of the timeout off the made basket by Hendrickson. Trojans trail by 17 here late in the fourth quarter. Jack with it up top. He gets it to Keel. Keel crosses over. Back to Francis. Francis looked at the three. He's going to pull inside. Going to take the mid-range jumper instead. That no, is no good. Rebound 
Goes down to Hendrickson. That goes out of bounds off of the Trojans, so it'll stay here once again. Just five minutes left in the contest. Sears Williams attacks the paint. They get it inside. That shot, not sure what that was, but it was no good. And Hendrickson still gets the board. And we have a timeout underneath going for Hendrickson. We'll just keep it here. So it'll be a Hendrickson timeout. They've only got one remaining after this, but, you know, it's not really a big deal for them. They don't have to be too worried about stopping the clock. In fact, they're, it's going to be in their best, best interest to just keep the thing moving. Anderson uh, in dire need for some points. They just haven't, uh, haven't found the offense tonight. Just haven't been able to score consistently at any point in these, fourth quarter, in these four quarters. Um, they're trying to get a little more aggressive here lately, but... They have still had trouble putting the ball in the basket. Fifty-one to thirty-four here in the quarterfinal round. It's a uh, it's a whole different animal here once you get here. And uh, Hendrickson tonight has just been the much better team. It'll be Hawk Ball. Trojans take the court. It's Francis, Austin, Langley, Keel, and Wagner. They're looking to get it in. They do. They get it up top. Jaden Williams going to attack the paint. He dumps it off inside. And that's no good underneath. They can't get the rebound. Francis finally gets it off the save. They skip it ahead. Here's Austin. Now Austin is going to pass back to Keel. Keel is going to put his head down, look to the basket, and that's going to be a foul going underneath against uh, against Hendrickson. Mike Wagner is popping up off the court there. Wagner looking for Jack. He gets it to him. Jack dribbles across. He's going to step into it. Pull back to Wagner. Wagner left open for three. He's going to take. Can't connect. Rebound goes inside to Austin. Jaden lost it. It goes to the man on the floor. He'll try to dive on him for a rebound, and that'll be a jump ball. Wagner in the inbound. He tried to force it into Harris, but Keel is going to be the one to get it. Keel is going to take it in, lose it, and he's going to try to find Harris in the corner. He's trapped back there. They fired across to Austin. He's going to step into another three. Once again, can't get it to go. Rebound goes underneath. Here's uh, here's uh, here's Keyshawn pushing up the court. Back to Williams. Jaden's going to attack the paint, go up with it. Can't get the lay. Follow is good. Keel's runner is no good. Gets his own board. He's going to attack with it. He got it to go. So Gross Keel gets the and one basket here. Trojans up to 36 points. They trail by 17. As Keel's free throw is no good, we're halfway through the fourth now. It's time to let the clock tick a little bit. Here's Montgomery. Skips it across to Williams. Now back to Montgomery. Pressure comes from Blackerby and Keel. They get it back outside. Hendrickson working the ball into the paint now. Williams goes up with it. Can't get the runner to go. Rodriguez is there on the follow. He can't get it to go. Langley is the one to recover, though. Langley gets the board, passes off to Wagner. Wagner's going to push pace over to Keel. Keel's going to step immediately into a triple. That's good. 
Gross Keel cuts it down to, well, 14. Three minutes remaining. Hendrickson looks like, is that Anderson calling a timeout or is that Hendrickson calling a timeout? It looks like it'll be Anderson, so they will have one remaining. It's a full timeout. Going to go ahead and take it with them. We'll be right back. We'll have the conclusion for you after this. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeVYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 for team. And another burst. Breaking tackles. The Niners to the end zone. Touchdown Rangers. 16 seconds. Really close at the corner. But Page to Wilson. She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to BikeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts. But did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Coming back to the action. Keyshawn Williams with it up top. Blackerby is going to come in for the steal. He's going to try and take it all the way in. Lays it up. Can't get it to go. Keel's there on the follow. He lost it going up. That's out of bounds off of Keel. Gross has had a, a tough time in this one holding on to the ball. And now it'll go the other way under three minutes to go. Williams skips it across Montgomery. Now inside to Jaden Williams. He's going to attack the paint, lay it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Langley, but Hendrickson is able to get the follow. That's no good. And we're going to have a foul on the floor going against going against Hill, and I, I think he's done. I mean, I think that's his fifth. So Anderson will have a shot to hit some free throws here at the one and one. Gus Rodriguez checks back in. Caden Marlowe is going to get a look at the one and one here. He misses the front end. Hendrickson gets it. And yeah, he needed those. Skip across. Here's Williams. Montgomery. Marlowe comes up on him. Now Cross Keel tried to just get the kick there. Now into Montgomery. Here's Williams. Williams going to attack the paint, get all the way to the basket, lays it up, can't get it to go. It's been rolling off the side of the backboard for him. Montgomery's follow is good, though. Blackerby crosses over, got poked, and here's Montgomery. Let's see what he'll do. Just lays it up. So that'll ice it. Anderson now trails by 18 with two minutes left. Not the way that they wanted their season to come to a close here, but it was a really good season for them overall. Of course, we had the uh, them going undefeated in district play as Williams goes up with it. They dump it inside. As he misses the dunk, but he'll get free throws out of it. Caden Crosby heads to the line here for some foul shots. Anderson getting some subs back into the game here. Minute and a half left before we can go ahead and hop off. First free throw good. He goes one for two, pushes the lead to 20. There's 90 seconds left in the ball game. Wagner bringing the ball up for Anderson. Back over to Francis. And like we were saying before, the, uh, the foul underneath as Harris bodies his way inside. Can't get the runner to go, and the rebound comes underneath. 
but an excellent season for the Trojans comes to a close here in the quarterfinal round for the second straight year. Nick Harris scoring seven points in his final game as a Trojan. Some other guys, Gross Keel, Caden Marlowe, Jack Stusser, Jason Jamel, Rodrigo Perez, Parker Shelton Lamb, Benito Black, Jaden Austin, and James Ashimwe. Big thanks to them for everything that they were able to do with and for the team this year. Anderson calling a timeout over here that uh, officials aren't seeing it. But yeah, here we go. We'll have uh, some benches empty, including some of those seniors that we mentioned playing their final, uh, final minutes of high school basketball. So, as we mentioned in the, um, excuse me, actually we'll go ahead and wait for the standing ovation for, uh, for these seniors here. After that nice moment, we will have some of those guys take the court. Jamail, Ishimwe, Stusser, Perez, and PSL. Future looks bright for Anderson looking at next season. You'll have Francis back, Wagner back, Langley back, including Bennett Blackerby. Sophomore right now, you'll look for a bigger role in the lineup next year. So we shall see what the season's uh, coming up have in store for Anderson. Because they're just going to come up a little bit short here in the quarterfinal round. We've still got a minute left on the clock. Hendrickson's just going to be killing some time here. Taking a three. That's no good, but he gets his own rebound. That's Donato Clemens. We've seen a little bit of him, but Hendrickson's really been just rocking with their very short rotation here. Roberts sets the screen. Attacking the basket is Spencer Stefano. He's going to try again for the corner three. That's no good. Rebound is tapped out. Hendrickson going to try again from downtown. That's good to go. Donato Clemens... Hits it from downtown, and Anderson still trailing in this one. It looks like they're going to try and get one more shot off. Perez skips to the corner. Ishimwe is going to try the three. He leaves that short. Parker Shelton Lamb gets the rebound, lost it, and it's into the hands of Hendrickson. And they're still attacking the basket here. That's fine, but certainly probably would do much better to hold it. But with that, he's still pressuring in the backcourt as the buzzer sounds. It's Hendrickson wins the game. Anderson, as we mentioned, their season comes up just a little bit short. We're going to go ahead and hop off. Sorry if, uh, sorry about all the technical difficulties that we were saying. I'm not sure if anyone's still even able to listen. Uh, Hendrickson going on tonight, or uh, later on, be playing the winner of uh, Manville and Beaumont. I would like to thank all the folks at Anderson High School for the season. Uh, I want to thank them for giving us the opportunity to broadcast all these games. It's been a lot of fun for me. Uh, I know this last season was just kind of a dud in terms of the game and in terms of uh, nobody really being able to hear it. I uh, just want to give a big thanks to Scott Francis, Daniel Pittsford, everybody involved here at Anderson High School. We're going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, I've been Jack Farrell. It's been a heck of a season. Tough that it has to end here in the quarterfinal round, but hope you all have a great weekend, a great, uh, and a great trip home if you were able to come out to the game. And uh, to the folks for Hendricks, uh, Hendrickson, if we had anybody on today, uh, Good luck to you all moving forward. You all got some more tough games uh, coming up ahead of you to try and uh, chase that state crown this season. Anderson coming up short. They fall in the quarterfinal round, 66-39. to 39. Hendrickson, just the better team, won this game. And uh, it's an excellent season, an emotional season, and just a, a sad loss for Anderson. This is, they're going to hit the road back to Austin here. Hendrickson going to hit the road back to Pflugerville. And we're going to go ahead and hop off. I've been Jack Farrell. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Sorry that uh, we couldn't really get it connected for more than about two seconds at a time. Good night, everybody.